What's up everyone? I recorded this video on Saturday, July 16th, 2022. It's 1.30 p.m. and it's 91 Fahrenheit, 33 Celsius. I'll be walking through the neighborhood of North Beach today in Miami Beach. It's the most northern neighborhood in Miami Beach as referenced by its name, just north of the Mid Beach area. I'm right now on Collins Avenue at pretty much the southern border of North Beach. You can see a lot of the Art Deco architecture, which is very common around the Miami Beach area. There's a small little park over here that I want to show off called Allison Park. Let's get out of the way of this construction vehicle. There's a playground over here at the northeast corner. How you doing, buddy? Hey. A really chill area to bring your children. There's some exercise equipment. Oh, they even named this playground Sabrina's Playground. Accessible park for children of all ages and abilities. It looks like they're doing some construction on the actual beach. Normally, this is the uh, Miami Beach boardwalk. It's continuous going from North Beach all the way to South Beach, but looks like they're doing some construction here and this cyclist here is having a difficult time getting around it. Actually, it's open. It's just that uh, he wasn't able to pass at that time. This Miami Beach boardwalk is a real gem. It goes for uh, quite a considerable distance. About uh, seven miles. Well, it looks like this section of the beach is open. Now let's go back to Collins Avenue and I'll show you the commercial districts 
in North Beach. This is one of my favorite commercial districts in uh, the neighborhood. It's a lot of restaurants and cool little places to come by and eat. I love the design of this bench they have here. It looks like a miniature lighthouse. Maybe it does double as a lighting. I think I'll cross the street here. Despite it being 91 degrees today, it's actually quite comfortable with the breeze. And for those of you wondering about the humidity, my weather app says that it is 59% today. So it's not too bad. Very neat looking strip mall. There's the Love Brunch store. And I saw on the uh, LED sign there that they had New York bagels. And apparently this business is also for sale or for lease by the owner. This hotel looks like it's a, a very budget hotel. Wonder how much they charge a night over here. A 
Oh, Pizza Hut is here. I think there was a pizzeria just back there. I've tried the pizza around here in Miami and Miami Beach, and it's actually pretty good. Here's a great advertisement on this classic car, the Rene Paris Jewelry Store. An old Chevrolet. advertising this store over here there's another discount clothing store Looks like it also doubles as a smoke shop too. THC, CBD, and vape. And over here at 67th Street, we have the start of the busier of the commercial section. With the Walgreens. Mr. Blend's Barbershop. Oh, this spot is open 24 hours. Venezia Pizza, the breakfast spot, all about breakfast, the breakfast club. Looks like a good spot. Here's the outside. Venezia. What's also neat too is the streets, I mean the sidewalks, they have the name of the street embedded in the sidewalk itself. And I wonder what's going to happen with this structure. It looks like it's going to be demolished. Hello. Yeah, this building is going to be demolished. It does not look like it's in good condition at all. got the rental car companies Avis and Budget
smoke shop. The sandbar and kitchen. This looks like a really nice neighborhood spot, especially if you want some uh, American food. And there's also Norman's American Bar and Grill just next door. Hi. How's the food here? They got a, good, a big menu. Everything from fish to appetizers, soups, salads, and burgers. Rita's Italian Ices. I wonder how they are. Kind of tucked away here in this strip mall. It's also a kosher uh, certified business. I know in this area there's a lot of businesses which are kosher certified and there's a sizable Jewish population that lives here. Little Caesars. Have the uh, chain restaurant Burger Fi. Hey. Looks to be quite busy in there right now. And we have a Publix grocery store tucked in over here with ample parking. Publix is the supermarket with the most locations in Florida. They're all over the place. The main entrance is over here. Looks like it's at least two levels large. Not sure if this is the parking lot for Publix or if it's a public parking lot. They do have a uh, garage over there.
unique looking fountain. This IHOP restaurant is open 24 hours. Or is it? Because it looks like all the lights are off inside. Also, this trash can has not been emptied. Yeah, it looks like it's open never now. Closed for repairs. Wonder how long it's been closed for. Seafood restaurant. And over here next to it, there's a Japanese restaurant. Iron Sushi. They even have sushi cakes. Also bento boxes and ramen available. Athens. Oh, there's a juice bar. Is this the, uh, the restaurant? Yes, Mediterranean cuisine. Falafels, gyros and burgers for sale by owner too this looks like a uh, fast food Chinese restaurant it's called Beijing got an Argentinian restaurant, the Campo Argentino, New Campo Argentino. Las Vegas Cuban cuisine is not open. Closed by the new building. Maybe they're gonna construct something else here, I don't know. Four Chicks Cafe. Pretty popular spot inside. Chicken and waffles, street tacos, southern sides. Breakfast plates, coffee, drinks. They've got a lot of options here. And we got the Cuban sandwich at uh, 6976 Collins Avenue. Brazilian restaurant. So as you can see here, they have a lot of variety especially if you love Latin American cuisine and American cuisine. You don't have filet mignon here. more stuff over on this side by the way if you take this street going down you'll hit another section of the North Beach greater area known as Normandy Isles which is a really cool spot as well
They're doing. <coughs> They're doing a lot of construction over here. I see. Despite there being a lot of scaffolding on the other side, there seems to be a lot of restaurants. There's a uh, juice bar. Looks like a bakery back there. And a gelato spot. And here's a Peruvian restaurant. Locura Marina. Very good. Okay, I have to come here. Yeah. They say they're coming soon to this location now. Coward Express is the uh, chain restaurant focusing on healthy food. Denny's. Denny's is open, but they do have uh, tinted windows, so it's hard to see inside. And it looks like someone is playing at the North Beach band shell over here. That's really neat that we get to hear the uh, band play here. Live music, who doesn't want to experience live music? Let's see if I can cross safely. Why do they have this all gated off? I wonder if the entrance is over this way. By the way, Manolo restaurant on the corner here at Collins Avenue. Extremely great Argentinian restaurant. I had the empanadas from there and they were amazing. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they're open right now. Because the door is closed. But the date is correct. Oh, it's a uh, ticketed event.
I can also tell this Cuban restaurant is amazing because I've seen a lot of people outside here before and there's a lot of people dining in there right now. This uh, Zone Cuban restaurant. This block over here is my um, most favorite block of North Beach. Got a Colombian restaurant. Spot looks good. local food market. Blossom pizza and pasta they offer. Over here is a uh, bakery, I think. No, it's a uh, sandwich spot. La Sandwichery. <laughs> Take a look at these croissants, they're huge. The employees in there having a little bit of fun. Burgers and shakes. How is this spot? Good? Okay. Looks chill in here. Also, I love that they have these uh, water spouts to keep everyone clue. And um, we got Subway here, a beauty studio. There's also a day spa. Oh, I almost passed by this pizzeria. Toto 2 Pizza. All you can eat for $18.99, Saturday and Sunday Super Buffet. Sounds good to me. And lunch specials.
Public Library. Pretty simple building. It's just uh, a brick building without any windows. I like this group of buildings over here. Even though they're all similar to each other, they look like they're all connected. And it has a very unique design. Now I'd like to go down over here. check out the beach pretty good sized parking lot Also a nice park here. It's got palm trees and a wide green lawn. And there's another playground which is uh, themed in the pirate design. We got a small pirate ship over here and a larger one over there. There's also a restroom there with water fountains which are actually desperately needed around here. I've noticed riding my bike up and down this boardwalk that there are barely any water fountains which are free. All right, with that, I think I will end my video here of North Beach. If you enjoyed this walkthrough of North Beach in the Miami Beach area, then please hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye everyone. See you soon.